uh, let me introduce you to the next guy. Okay. Uh, this next guy is just as wild as all the rest of us in a very different way. Okay. His name is Garrett Bader. Uh, and he, his business is Core Force Energy, but Garrett Bader is maybe one of the most unique human beings yeah. you'll ever meet because he's a combination of martial artist, uh, strength trainer, but he's also a concert, like, prodigy traveling pianist who literally makes a living that way, and a magician at the same time. So, like, he literally has a show in Vegas and a show that travels where he, he combines music and uh, magic. And, uh, and it's just absolutely amazing. And, he, and we're going to play an intro for him there for a second, and then we have a live interview, and then he and Vega have a piece, and he writes his, um, you know, obviously plays other music, but writes his own music. Uh, at the end, there's a piece of music that he specifically wrote, um, and, uh, that he wrote a while back, but it, it's very specifically about situations like well, this, or what's going on with that, and uh, he sets it up for you in the, in the interview. Um, you will, we're going to talk about some real esoteric stuff here. Because, uh, yeah, like, this is going to be, some of y'all are going to be like, them dudes have left the building <laughs> off the deep end. Because we're going to talk about things that have to do with, like, sound and light and energy and, like, quantum physics in relation to the brain giving the body commands. And, and Garen does a pretty good job of making people understand that about um, the way your imagination creates a command Creates a, creates a scenario, changes the way your body reacts to it, changes the command your body gets, and therefore the way it reacts. And you'd have to have known Noah, and Garen knew, knew him enough and had watched him enough, to know that Noah was somebody who naturally did that. His inclination toward music and his inclination toward some of the things we taught him, as well as him and his mother just have a very special touch about, well, quantum physics and energy and the things like that. So, like, Noah could pick up a piece of steel and feel it in his fingers and he would tell you this is a different this has a different composition and, and, and you can do that bend. a little bit still, but he would tell you the way it would bend by just feeling it and holding it for a minute and then he would just do and, and Darren's going to talk a little bit about how uh, he would watch Noah and his breathing how his breathing pattern which is generated out of his imagination and just as a natural influence of, or a natural reaction to him something that most people need to be taught, he it would change the way he moved. It would change the way he, he bent things, change the way he do it. And it's really like this is some upper end physical ability stuff that like most people are gonna be a little bit like, huh? I don't know. I thought we were just bending steel and setting stuff on fire and roller skating and singing and stuff. I, it, this is but you're gonna see also Garen's what Garen is about and how cool it is, and then you'll see a little bit of an interview with uh, with him, and then uh, his actual music, which uh, I think you'll really enjoy, and, and you'll be kind of walking away being like, "What in the world? How did he?" But yeah, I mean, it's a very special thing. So watch this. Okay, guys, so now that you understand a little bit about how Garen, who Garen is, and, and how awesome he is, and, and I've known Garen for a while, we did a workshop together, and we're introduced through some mutual friends, and, and Garen is just an amazing, amazing human being, and, and we had, he had some contact with Noah, and he, were, he was pointing some things out to us, and we wanted to talk about that, because this is all really about Noah, and Garen uses sound, because he has such a prodigy of music and, and all that stuff, to enhance physical power and movement, and... And he noticed very early that he was watching Noah bend that, that Noah did the same thing. I'm going to let Garen kind of 
kind of give, he'll give you a better explanation than that than I will. I, we noticed those things about him, and, and Noah actually talked about that. But Garen, that's his real specialty. And Noah had this thing about sound and light when you the way you see a thing and the light that you see in a particular thing dictates the movements that you give it and the sound is the same thing um the the movements you want to do in steel bending or, or in anything anything at all especially i learned this from garen anything really changes the breath and the sound that you make as you do it and, and that's just such an amazing thing because it super enhances physical performance and nobody's talking about this except garen so I'd like to hear your opinion, brother. You tell me what you think. What well, you, that you said that beautifully. I, I love what you said. You know, we, we drive on a lot of things because we, we both hear sound and, and, and see and, and, and visualize things. Um, and my life pretty much changed. I mean, I was a pianist and I played lots of instruments when I was young. So I was very attuned to sound, um, trained in that. But I also trained in martial arts. And I got really into weightlifting and whatnot, but I was still a real skinny nerd <laughs> and extremely, extremely shy. And I, I had the opportunity to go to uh, one of the very finest music schools um, in the world. Uh, and I went, it was a summer camp and musicians from all over the world would come and compete and learn and, and, and study with some of the best teachers around. And I thought I was really good when I first went, I was in high school and I was, the first summer, I was completely destroyed, completely destroyed because my ego just went, whew. I realized that I was nobody. I was a beginner compared to some of the competitors. So I vowed that next year that I would go back, that I would win the competition. I, 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 would, I would win this big competition to play with orchestras and everything. And I was like, what do I need? I need to change myself completely. So that takes imagination, it takes a lot of courage. And I went from being, to make a long story short, from being incredibly shy to being confident. And one of the key components was, is that I was playing the piano like everybody else and practicing hard and having slow incremental growth. And then all of a sudden, I got exposed really to something that was quite extraordinary, Bruce Lee. And because I was a musician and also a martial artist, I heard his sound and his sound was completely different from anyone else in the world. Everyone else, they throw a punch. It's hoo, 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 hoo. Bruce Lee was like, Whoa. it's like he's like on a hovercraft. He's he's like the silver surfer coming at you already 180,000 miles per second. And everybody makes fun of his sound, but his sound was is actually a blueprint of how he would breathe and a command for his body of what he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And I applied that idea immediately to martial arts and all of a sudden it was like, whoa, applying sound gives you the instruction. I'll give you a little demonstration. And I applied it to the piano. And that summer I completely transformed and I won the competition and I went back the next year and won, won it again. And that was really transformational to the point where my teacher had given me to her teacher and we hadn't seen each other for months. And then she heard me play and she's she just, I remember the face on her. She was like, oh my God, what happened to you? Who are you? Because I had transformed in such a short amount of time. And that is possible when you have the right body commands and right imagination and this is all about excellence. You know, the, your, your entire event here is about excellence. And, and that's one of the things that transform me, sound and, and, and how that is coded into our brain. So to give something to this event, I'd like you to try something, okay? Is, is it possible to move the camera at all so you can try something and, and they can see your hands? Uh, I think so. Mm, <laughs> we give we'll it a give shot. A shot. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. And I'd like people to follow along at home. Oh, no, not, not just your hands, your, your face as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 perfect. Great. And I'd like everybody to try this at home because we have all encoded words, thoughts in our minds to create actions. And there's a sound that's a, a, associated with those things, but we're just unaware of it. And there's not necessarily a sound because we don't necessarily make a sound anymore. We did as kids, but as adults, we're very shy, even as teenagers. But it's a breath. So I want you to take your hand like this and go, just hit it like that's a target and go. Shoo, shoo. <laughs> okay, so that's a punch. We know that that's a punch. 
Okay, make it make it kind of like make them feel it. Okay. Now that's a that's a particular kind of action. But what if you had in your hand a club? Like a 12-inch club. Hard wood like this. And would you hit it differently? How would you do that? Would you, how would you hit something and you like I, this is needs to be knockout, not a knockout punch, but a knockout club. So try that, see what happens. Hold on and make the sound, make it make a sound with it, or just yeah, what sound it? would represent you having like like a, like just a breath even. Okay. Was that different than the punch? Yes. Yeah. Right. And if you stand, you will really be amazed at what your body is doing. So a punch was this. And a club is more like, it's a command. Something else is like, I got to take this club and bam, right? Oh, it's a different action. So I didn't have to train you. You automatically knew that because of your imagination attached itself already to a sound or a breath movement. And they're all together. Okay, so what if you had a club that had a three foot chain on it and you had to hit hard? So you're defending yourself. What, what, what would that look like? Try that. <laughs> I'm trying to visualize that There's one. There's not a lot of range of motion in here. <laughs> you're the, you're you're the in a small office. Day, <laughs> wait a minute. You're the guy that every day comes up with, with these brilliant things of like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry a car and I'm going to throw a hatchet with my foot. <laughs> yeah, but she makes me go outside to do that. Yeah, she makes me go, I have to go out. I'm not allowed to play in the house. I'm not allowed to. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, maybe you should have done this outside. <laughs> this outside. Yeah, okay. So hold on. So, ah, so w was that different than the fist? Yeah, it's a, it's a more arc. It's a, it's a whip. Yeah, yeah, a whip motion. Yeah, you're thinking whip. Ah, and you breathe different. You did it. It was all synced together, okay? Right. So <laughs> I know you're not allowed to play in the house, but we're going to just for this day. This is an important vet for Noah, <laughs> okay? So now you have a ball at the end of that chain, and it's a chrome ball. It's a chrome steel ball. What does that, what does that look like? Okay. I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> okay, go back to the punch. What was that? <clears throat> ah, different sound, different yep. breath, different commands to the body. Right. And that makes your diaphragm go, oh, mm -hmm. lock. But yet when you had a chain, your diaphragm didn't lock or did it? You tell me. Did it lock? Your punch, you went. No, it, it, it moved differently, but it didn't, it didn't lock down like that traditional oh. punch motion. Because a punch is a command to stop. It's a command of compression. <laughs> lock, right? A ball and a chain is <laughs> expansion because you're already thinking distance. But you're having a whole new different chain of kinetic chain of uh, of action here. Okay, so let's continue. So you have a club, a chain that's a little longer now, and not it's no longer chrome. It's like this big steel, ugly, crafted ball, and it has spikes in it. Okay, what does that look like? <laughs> oh, so different. Yeah. Again, right? Yeah, they're all. Every one of them is a different. Because yes. when you add that imagination point, you change the physical movement, and mm -hmm. every time the sound changes, every time the physical contraction changes, yeah. And it changes the way your diaphragm moves. It it changes your whole idea of is it compression or is it more expansive, or is it more expansive and cutting? So we're going to continue. One more. So it's a club. It's a chain, and it has a ball with spikes on it, but those spikes are razor sharp. Okay? Okay. So what is, and, and man, you are going to destroy whatever's there with, with the razor ball and all of this. Okay. So what's, what's that look like? Okay. Ah! ah, right. Okay. So one more. <laughs> you have a club, a chain, a ball razor sharp spikes but then something really like almost like from the cartoons happens as it comes by to the target these blades come out just like you know just like you cut a tree down with these blades and as you 
the razor sharp is coming and at the same time these blades come out just right before impact and okay so we know that sound so what does that look like with that sound added or just with my my well, you don't have to add the sound but at the it, you just add that picture of like razor, razor sharp and they have blades at the end of them okay ah! great okay go back to the punch huh so which one is more powerful the the first the the one with all the blades and everything else is it yeah because the creation of i can see and feel the whole creation of the different the entire different feel and, and sound and physical of the whole thing right so bruce lee was not throwing a punch it was more like he was throwing a disc through the universe that has razor sharp blades on it <laughs> even before he started it wasn't like people start this idea and it's like okay he's like this no it was like his sound was <laughs> that sound went on and on and on yeah. coming from a different universe because you can do a three second breath or or let's just do a one second breath or just the punch the punch was <laughs> And it's a sound of stop, mm -hmm. contract, and end here. And you can do follow through, but follow through is still the same thing, just farther. Still the same thing. But now you have a club of ball and chain, all of this, and it becomes whole different thing. And if you stand up and do it, it's amazing. So I applied this concept of using your imagination and making sure that it's synesthized. So it's synesthized, it's synesthesia, all together with sound, picture, and feeling. Mm. And people, and all my life I was a musician, you would think I would know a lot about feeling. And it wasn't until I, I completely graduated from music conservatories and, and won competitions that I was like, one day I go... I don't know a thing about what emotion is into what I'm doing. All it is is like, it's either, well, oh, let's play this nicely or let's play this with more passion. Passion is actually, and passion and will ends up being, unfortunately, a breath command of, com of contraction and constipation. Mm. So I applied this whole idea to piano playing in a short amount of time. And like I said, I had a transformation. The idea of a phrase, is the phrase like, well, let me play it nicely, let me cultivate it all the way through, or is it shoo? So look what happens immediately to technique for the piano. There's no keyboard here, but watch. If I play the piano, this is like a whole bunch of short punches. And I can you know, try to make it musical and all of that stuff. But if I take the chain and the ball idea of in different directions, in different lengths, look what happens now. Immediately the technique completely changes and that changes the vibrational energy of the piano and the people listening to it, which is really beautiful because you're making a real transformation right away because no matter how much practice you make like this, it will never turn into that ball and chain. It simply can't because it's a different manifestation of energy and sound and light. So the picture in your mind of what I had of a punch and a club changed you immediately, right? Yes. Right. So when you use your imagination and combine it with your breath and your correct emotion that goes along with it, emotional attunement, I call it, you can play something that's like virtuosic or a punch or lifting weight, it's the same thing. What's the sound of lifting a weight? Is it just like you, you touch the bar and you hold it and you go, let me lock on and then press up. That sounds like constipation to me. Or do you go, I'm gonna take these metal plates, that metal plate here, and I'm gonna make them spin. And when I touch this bar, I'm going to ignite it with energy and light and color. Look at the muscle recruitment that it gets. Instead of lock, lock, it's dead. You get. Yeah. 
And that's immediately what I heard Noah doing. His sound is not flat. When he was trying to bend the pliers, instead of like, I mean, the, the, the wrenches and, and stuff, it wasn't, ah, ah. I heard him dictating the shape he wanted to, to create by his simple, and he, he laughed a lot of time. He was talking while he was doing it, which made it even more incredible because most people can't do that. They got to lock down on everything, but look what locking down does. It doesn't go with the shape of what you're trying to create. To me, in my mind, when I saw him bend things, you correct me or maybe give some insight. He wasn't bending something this long. He was bending something this long, like that chain. So his whole body became the mechanism for the power. It wasn't, ah, ah, oh, I can't bend it. He went, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. No, and, and you're, you're even if you watch him posturally, which some of it is is a technical thing in how he bent a lot, especially short steel. But if you watch him posturally, it, it's that roll. Yes, he just did that rolling movement. That mm -hmm. rolling. He would often he would even turn to one side that way. The way you, and the breath was that same rolling breath and and he talked a lot about being able to visualize the energy of a piece like to touch it and be able to see a particular color and a, a particular set of things or whatever and then, and then we began to work on later emotional what are you thinking about when you do this what are you you know all of that stuff is is the gateway to the next level mm -hmm. like uh, like you were talking about with your uh, the piano it's the gateway to not just mechanically replicating a thing you've seen it's owning and being a part of and being really truly present in in what's going on right right and that's phenomenal so yeah i heard that with his sound and i see that with what you do as well um people people ignore that part but the imagination is really important but the imagination itself doesn't do it because it's not a command to the body directly the sound and the breath are because you can visit and they're the extension of the imagination so how you're thinking dictates the breath and the sound which dictates the movement yes. of the body which is the whole chain of command that that so your brain is driving the commands and the commands are changing how you move which is the whole point so what's going on there yeah, that's amazing right and and so are you lifting a weight or trying to bend something and your sound is flat and constipated well, that's going to give you a different action as we got with the punches. The, 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 the idea of having the ball and chain creates all of this, that. So not one is not better than the other. You just have to apply it to the right situation and know how to use it, right? Right. Mm -hmm. So this Aaron, applies to been... everything. I, I wish we could talk to you all day, man. Cause like with seriously me and you would talk and yeah. like, but like this stuff is foundationally changing how you deal with, how you deal with all the physical things in life, how mm -hmm. you do this is, this is a whole other level uh, that nobody talks about that. No, like we just don't, nobody's even talking about this stuff about you. Cause you hear people talk about visualization, but they're not talking about, it, like literally creating the reality of how you do through imagination and like i, I wish we had talked dude people need to hear your stuff like I, i'm gonna we're gonna make sure they can find you and thank we, you so we much for together we need to get together more and do do this yeah for people. yeah yeah absolutely that, in closing i'd like to say two things if i may absolutely um, i think what's really important is is for us to remember for excellence we have a choice. We can dis we we can make the choice that we are human beings and we're going to do what every other human being does, and and play the piano or huh, 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 and do all of these things and thinking of ourselves as muscle tendons and bones, or we can think of ourselves as light energy and resonance beings that can manifest ourselves with energy and light and love and care as opposed to, let me just do another action. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what, you have that choice. Are you a human being or did you decide to be a silver surfer of light, color, and energy? And if you start treating all of your actions throughout the day as 
light, color, and energy. And who am I becoming? You will be a different human being. And I applaud you guys for being so amazing and inspirations to people and keeping Noah's legacy going uh, with the beautiful gifts that he had, which is a direct um, gift that you gave him, as well as God, of course. Garen, thank you so much, and we appreciate you coming out to do this. And 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 I'm, um, you know, and everybody's gonna understand that the music that you play is just phenomenal, and they're gonna they're about to hear the piece for that. Uh, it's just absolutely phenomenal, and thank you so much for that. Let me introduce one the the piece that they're about to hear. This is called the Fairy's Flight. I wrote it at a time where it was one of the worst times of my life, and it's called the Fairy's Flight. Imagine a fairy sitting on a leaf, and what you think is morning dew is actually her tears and her wings are flapping trying to remind her of who she really is but she's forgotten this is the story of how the song of the forest and just like with what you're doing with all of your tribe of people who are helping keep noah's legacy going is the song of the forest brings her and reminds her who of who she really is so you must always believe in the magic because people around you will take you to new heights. So reach out to your friends, reach out to God, and you'll hear in this piece the fluttering of her wings, the sadness in the beginning, and the complete release of this new person she becomes. And that's the story when I perform it. And when I perform it, I have a dancer around the piano and all kinds of things. But this is in a recording studio, and I hope you enjoy it. And Thank, uh, thank you so, so much. much. Really thank appreciate you it. Thank you. Thank you. Take care.
<laughs> okay, I'm on. I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm still listening to the music. And then I'm... Okay. Uh, what a phenomenal piece of music. Seriously, I mean, that that's mm-hmm. crazy that I like for to play like that. And, um, like I said, there's some deep end of the ocean concepts, but really amazing stuff. And he felt it all tied together when we got explained and everything there or whatever. And, um, you know, he, like you said, we're talking it's about excellence and really choosing the vision of being, uh, who you want to be and choosing that connection to the God and other people and helping other people. And, like, it's just absolutely phenomenal. And, like, people don't get the, like, it's been a recurring theme. If you listen to a whole day and you, everybody who's talked about training and the other stuff that they do, it's about using your body to, to meld and build your mind. Keegan talked about it. Rob Blair talks about it. Garen talked about it. Everybody has alluded to it in some form or another. Um, and then some of the interviews and stuff or whatever. And, and, and it's just amazing. Garen, thanks, my, my brother. appreciate that. Dude, that was just so cool. The, the, really the music beautiful. is amazing. amazing. And uh, I hope people can, you know, digest on those concepts a little bit. And, and I realize that a lot of this is just sort of entertainment based and, you know, and getting people to watch. But we also wanted to really teach some things. And some guys have really come out and taught some amazing stuff today. Like, you've learned some really cool stuff. So, again, thanks, brother. We, we really appreciate that.